Has your business recently been hit with a barrage of bad Google reviews that you suspect are fake? Don't worry. By the end of this video, you will learn the most effective strategies to remove fake Google reviews from your Google My Business profile and the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Pelagali, an attorney here at Mink Law, the nation's leading law firm when it comes to helping businesses deal with fake Google reviews. Whether it is a disgruntled client, competitor, a vengeful former employee, or someone your business has never even interacted with, fake and negative reviews happen to every business at some point. Leaving the negative review unaddressed can have significant consequences for your business's reputation and its bottom line. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the most effective strategies to remove fake Google reviews. You will also learn how to spot fake Google reviews and what to do if Google ignores your removal requests. There are two main types of fake Google reviews to consider. The first type is a review left by an actual client or customer whose review misrepresents their experience with your business to manipulate your star rating. The other type of review is left by a non-customer who published the review either in response to some current event or due to some personal animus against a business owner or employee. When faced with a fake Google review, take the following actions right away to identify which type of fake Google review you are dealing with. Consult your business records related to the name of the Google account who left the review to determine if the reviewer is a legitimate client or customer. Scrutinize the Google account to look for information like the account creation date, other reviews published by the account, and the timing and locations of those other reviews. For example, if the Google account was created the same day the fake review was left, that would suggest the account is not legitimate or a long-term Google user, and that the review was left for the sole purpose of unfairly lowering your star rating. If you are faced with multiple fake reviews from multiple Google accounts that were posted within a short period of time, utilize these same techniques as well as a careful review of the specific language used to attempt to draw connections between the Google accounts that left the reviews. If your business is the target of fake Google reviews, there are three key strategies you can use to get the content down. Request that the author remove the review, flag and report the review for terms of service violations, and work with a legal professional. However, before doing anything, you first must preserve and document evidence of the reviews and Google accounts behind the reviews, as well as your associated business records. If you do plan to publicly respond to a fake Google review, the rule of thumb is to do so only after exhausting other potential remedies and with careful consideration of the practical and potential legal ramifications depending on your particular industry. Posting a public response to a fake Google review right away should be reserved for extremely harmful reviews or ones that you are certain there is no other way to remove or resolve. Keep in mind that publicly responding to a client or customer review in the wrong way can do more harm than good, especially if it is in a very public forum that might attract more attention. Additionally, if you are a healthcare provider or a legal professional, patient and client protections afforded under laws like HIPAA significantly limit your ability to publicly respond to a negative review. In those situations, it is imperative you consult with a legal professional prior to publicly responding so you ensure your compliance with all appropriate laws and regulations. While contemporaneously seeking removal of the fake review from the author, you should also determine whether and how the review violates Google's terms of service for the purpose of submitting a report. Always make sure you check Google's review guidelines first to determine what Google considers an inappropriate review. Google's policies, for example, prohibit spam or fake content and brand impersonations. Once you determine that the review violates Google's terms of service, you will need to flag the review within your Google My Business page. Simply Google your business or visit Google Maps to find your business's listing. Then find the review in question that you want to flag. Locate the flag or three vertical dots next to the review, click that flag or three vertical dots, and flag the review as inappropriate. After flagging the review as inappropriate, you'll be directed to a report a policy violation page. There, you can identify the specific nature of the violation, fill out your email address, and submit the request. You can do all of this within your Google My Business account. If Google will not work with you and remove the review based on your reports, 
your final options are to pursue litigation or implement a comprehensive online reputation management strategy. If the author of the review refuses to remove it and Google will not delete the review in response to a terms of service report, you should consult with an experienced legal professional as litigation may be your only possible recourse for deletion. If the identity of the reviewer is known, sending a demand letter first from an experienced lawyer can be an effective way to get the reviewer to remove the content. A demand letter puts the reviewer on legal notice that a lawsuit may be filed against them if they don't remove the fake review. This is often a productive and cost-efficient method. Depending on the state you live in, you may be legally required to send a formal retraction demand letter before you can file your defamation lawsuit. In situations where a cease and desist letter is not a practical solution, an experienced legal team can counsel you on the viability, risks, and benefits of filing a defamation lawsuit right away. If the identity of the poster is known and the poster refuses to delete the content, a defamation lawsuit will be your only other recourse to achieve deletion of the fake review. If the identity of the reviewer is unknown and you are unable to get the fake review deleted through Google, you will need to retain legal counsel to file a John Doe defamation lawsuit to attempt to unmask the anonymous reviewer. Here at Mink Law, we pride ourselves on being national leaders in content removal efforts spanning the internet, including Google reviews. Call us for a free consult at 216-373 7706 or head over to minklaw.com and submit a contact form.